So sensing is all about um, measuring things. And so what we think a sensor is, is an analytical device that is um, very selective for the target species you want to detect. The thing that really excites me about the field is that you can actually make people's lives better. And I think that measurement and developing new measurement methods is as important as developing new ways of thinking and giving us control and understanding of the world we live in. And that can really improve people's lives. So that's really what excites me the most. Well, anybody who wants to do measurements or is interested in measurement should actually have a look at ACS sensors and see what sorts of things we're publishing because they're really new measurement tools. Mainly because uh, sensing fields, there's an awful lot of really good science done in sensing, but there's not a, a, a good home for sensing science. And it also might be areas uh, of sensing that traditionally aren't getting to the chemistry journals, such as uh, intracellular sensors, sensors that are designed to allow us to understand biological systems better. So I thought it was a really exciting opportunity to bring all these very diverse aspects of sensing together in one place in a really high quality publication home. So an example, you know, as people develop new, new, new uh, materials and they might write a paper all about the new materials and then say at the end that it could be applied for sensors. That is not a paper for ACS sensors. The ACS already has journals for that. But if they say, well, there, here's this sensing issue and this new material can solve that issue, that's definitely a paper for ACS sensors. My aim for the journal is to publish all the very best sensing science. But not just that, that the sensing field, because it's so diverse, it's very hard for anybody to know all the different aspects of sensing. Well, the most obvious example of how sensors impact on everyday life is the uh, glucose meter because it's really revolutionised the lives of people who suffer from diabetes. And so at the moment what I'm really interested in is developing tools that can allow us to detect single molecules or single cells, either many single events or rare single events, to start to allow us to either make the, the ultimate sensitivity sensors I think that's very exciting. I think the areas of intracellular and in vivo sensors are really going forward in, in leaps and bounds and that's going to really make a huge impact, not just in diagnostics for you know, um, monitoring whether we have a disease or, or whatever, but for also allowing us to understand biological systems in a completely new way. I suppose on a scientific level, the best advice I ever got given was from my postdoctoral supervisor, who basically told me in different words, never give up, always keep trying. Um, the, the most common advice I give people is embrace change. Don't resist change, embrace it. Because if you embrace it, then you'll go forward with it. So my final thoughts, and the last thing I want to say is, um, uh, please think about publishing your very best work in ACS Census, because this is actually your journal. It's for you to disseminate the very best stuff that's done in sensing and move that field forward.